Hi, thanks for watching. Today's video is all about one of my favorite perfumes for warmer weather, and that is Chantecaille Vetiver. There it is right there. I know lots of people are looking for a new scent for the spring or the summer, um, and I've been thinking about this one a lot because I know that Chantecaille has released a, a vetiver cedar and an oud perfume and they are new to the lineup so I feel like they might be discontinuing this one pretty soon but one of the things that I love about perfume and the perfume community is that perfumes that are discontinued are just as valuable if not more so than something that's brand new so it's not um, a community or an area where people are only focused on what's new and what's hot, people are also looking back and appreciating the things that have come before. So with that in mind, I'm going to talk about Vetiver by Shantikai, and I believe you can still buy this on their website. The last time I checked, they were shipping everywhere pretty much, which is great. Um, and you might even be able to find it at the Chantecaille counter if you live close to a department store that has a Chantecaille counter. So definitely check this out. This is not impossible to get even though they've launched new perfumes. This one I bought, this is a 75 ml. I've had this for maybe 10 years and I bought it on the spot, which is very unusual for me. Usually when I buy a perfume, I like to test it, I like to wear it on clothes, wear it on skin, I like to think about it, and then I will go ahead and go back and buy it, and that whole process can sometimes take me six months or a year, you know, I kind of like to take my time with purchasing perfume because I feel like a bottle can last you such a long time and there's always something new coming out that's going to distract me. So this was not like that. I didn't take my time with this one. I smelled it. I loved it. I had never smelled anything like it before, even though I was really, really into perfume at that time. And I basically bought it on the spot. And once I tell you what vetiver is, you'll kind of understand why. Vetiver is a grass that grows in hot weather and uh, the roots of the vetiver is what is used to, well, the roots and the grass, but mostly the roots are what's used to create a very dry, beautiful scent. And uh, vetiver was originally found in India, so it's something that grows in kind of a tropical climate and um, they would take it and use it for different cool, for its cooling properties in India. So they would make mats out of it and then soak the mats in water and hang them up. And then as they dried, the water would perfume the air. They would put it in water and when you drank the water, the you would smell it and it would perfume the water and you would get to imbibe some of its cooling properties. So, now it's been, it grows in Haiti, it grows in places in France, it has been taken from India and cultivated in other places, but it is something that only grows in hot weather, weather which makes it perfect for a hot weather perfume. And as the weather warms up, you'll find yourself gravitating towards these kind of notes that you really only appreciate when it's warm, right? And in lots of cultures, including the Indian culture, there are certain notes that you gravitate towards when it's uh, cold outside. So cinnamon, clove, pepper, those are thought to be hot spices. They heat up your body, they create heat, and so you want them when it's cold outside, but then when it is warm outside, you don't want those anymore. You want something more cooling, you want mint, you want coriander, you want um, cardamom, you know, those are scents, even sandalwood, those are notes that are supposed to be cooling. And so you would eat those, you would, you know, have them in your um, lemonade or your drinks, and they will help you feel cool and comfortable when it's really hot outside. So it's so interesting to me. I love the idea that, you know, there is something in nature that people have found to be 
helpful when it's hot outside. And so that is why we gravitate towards certain notes when it's hot. And it totally makes sense. That's why vetiver grows in India and people have used it for centuries to help cool down their homes and cool down their bodies and make themselves comfortable in extreme heat. And now there's a perfume that totally captures all of that. And that is exactly what I smelled when I smelled this for the first time. I was at the Shanakai counter for an event for the makeup. They had launched a new collection. I was trying it out and then there was time afterwards and I was looking at the perfume. Someone came to help me. Um, I smelled this and it really, really spoke to me because it smells like India. Like if you go to India in the summer, you will smell this in stores that you go into, hotels that you go into. There is anywhere that's trying to make you feel comfortable as a visitor will have some vetiver in the air, perfuming the air. And this perfume just captures that smell, which is so cool. And it's so lovely. I really encourage everyone to go and smell this. It's highly, highly underrated. People think it's nothing special, but I haven't come across another vetiver perfume that smells quite like this, that captured all of that and put it in a bottle for me. So that is why this is one of my favorite fragrances, maybe of all time. I've held on to it. I love it so much. I bought it on the spot. And um, vetiver, you know, beyond that, vetiver is also used as a fixative, which means that they use it in perfume to help the perfume stick to your body. So it's often used as a base note. It's often used as kind of um, a helping ingredient, a supportive ingredient instead of being the... But in this perfume, vetiver is the main character. It is completely the center and you know, that kind of makes this perfume easy to wear because it's not very complicated. It's not something that's going to change a great deal as you wear it. Your skin can heat up, you can sweat, you can be wearing different kinds of clothing, and it will basically smell the same. It really will just smell like vetiver. Um, it's very fresh, it's very dry, so it's perfect for humid climates. I mean, I live in a place that's very dry, but I still enjoy wearing this a lot. This was my signature scent for a long, long time, and um, it has amazing sillage because anytime I entered a room, people would know that I was there because they could smell this coming. And um, I don't like that all the time, but I definitely liked this. And um, I never had any complaints about it. Nobody said that it gave them a headache or anything like that. And I think that's because this is such a natural note that it's easy to have around you. And maybe that's what people appreciated about it when they were using it to scent their homes and stuff too. So really cool, amazing fragrance. As far as I know, this is not discontinued yet. I wouldn't be surprised if it was getting discontinued because as I said, Chantecaille is introducing new perfumes into their lineup. Um, again, if they do discontinue it, that just means that you can find it for a better price, which is not necessarily a bad thing. So check it out, see if you can find it, see if you can um, buy samples or get a sample of it because I think that it is a very enjoyable, fresh fragrance to wear. Uh, if you smell this or, or if you have an experience with vetiver, I would love to hear from you because ever since I've been into this perfume, vetiver is one of my all-time favorite notes. I look for it everywhere, um, but this one is the one where it's just true vetiver and it's just so gorgeous. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next time. Bye!